AI porn to replace real women. Um, very disturbing thing that I'm seeing coming here. And uh, I thought I better come out with a sermon on this, uh, just a little quick study, nothing real in-depth because you don't really need to go too in-depth with this uh, whole thing. But I was watching a video by Stranger Than Fiction over at his channel, and he showed this woman with uh, pink hair, and, uh, you know, and he said, this woman is completely artificial. I'll show you the picture of her right here. Um, her face, I'm not going to show any more of her whatever else, but right there, she's not even real. She's completely fake. Artificial intelligence generated. And I'll put up a few other pictures here of women's faces that are completely artificial. Artificial intelligence. And I saw these other ones in another guy's video. He was talking about it, and he said that a lot of these porn stars that are real women, actual flesh and blood women, they're starting to panic because they realize they're going to be replaced with artificial intelligence. And I thought, <laughs> huh? What? It was just bizarre, completely bizarre. And they know what men lust after, and so they can accentuate that part of the body and make them completely unreal. And what's going to happen is, if you watched my last video, it's genocide pornographic genocide. Young people are going to be so enamored with artificial intelligence creating just the perfect symbol of lust that they're not going to be able to look at, at a, a regular girl if you're a guy or a regular guy if you're a girl and, and look and say, wow, he's really handsome or something. It'll be, oh, his body isn't perfect or her body isn't perfect or something. It's extremely dangerous and it's all part of the satanic genocide movement. That's what it's a part of. But the reason I wanted to do this video is because I will guarantee you that false prophets are going to come out and say it's not a sin because, after all, they're not real women. See? So you can look at them and you can lust after them because you're actually just lusting after a computer-generated image. No women are being hurt. I think it's actually a good thing. Mark my words. You're going to see it. You will see it. And probably it'll be some dopey, you know, modern professing Christian that will say that. Matthew chapter 15, verse 17 through 20. Um, <clears throat> Do not ye, ye yet understand that whatsoever entereth in at the mouth goeth into the belly and is cast out into the drought? But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart, and they defile the man. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man, but to eat with unwashed hands defileth not a man. Jesus is rebuking the Pharisees there. They're saying, oh, there's a ceremonial washing thing and whatever. And, you know, I, I actually heard some stupid atheist say the one time, excuse me, foolish atheist, use the Bible term. This foolish atheist comes out and he said, Jesus was not aware of germs. And that's why he didn't want to wash his hands. <laughs> uh, okay, well, prove the germs exist first of all. That's a whole other issue. But um, let's just say bad bacteria, okay? Okay. Uh, Jesus was talking about ceremonial washing in the context. Not that you should just go and eat stuff, you know, after you change the oil in your car or something or, you know, cleaning your toilet out or something. No, Jesus knows that you're supposed to wash your hands and whatever. He's talking about ceremonial washing. That's why they were making it into a thing of, that it's spiritual. And Jesus says, no, that doesn't affect you. That's not a bad thing if you don't ceremonially ceremonially uh, wash your hands before going into the temple and this big pageant. No, that doesn't defile you. The things that are in your heart defile you. And I'll tell you right now, if you're looking at a bunch of wicked pornography, that stuff gets into you and you won't forget it. It starts to become a spiritual problem because you are lusting after women that you never have any intention of being there and, and actually getting to know her. Now, oh, well, if I look at enough pornography, I'll eventually get a wife like that. <laughs> uh, you're stupid. Okay, you're rather stupid. Mark chapter 7. You get to a point in ministry where you can kind of just see something new come out and you think, well, I can see where the uh, modern professing Christians and false prophets will probably come out with something. And so I might as well just go ahead and preach it a while so I can beat them to the punch. Um, Mark chapter 7, verse 20 through 23. <clears throat> and he said, That which cometh out of the man, that defileth the man. 
For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defile the man. So if you're looking at something, it's entering into your mind, entering into your heart. You have that really strong lust, that feeling, oh, that defiles you. It messes you up. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. First Thessalonians chapter 5. <clears throat> I passed it. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 22. Says, abstain from all appearance of evil um, unless it's fake evil. It's, it's artificially, in, you know, intelligence uh, generated evil, then it's okay or something. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Um, abstain from all appearance of evil. All right? What is this? It's an appearance. It doesn't matter if it's a real woman or some computer-generated image. It still is an appearance of evil. You say, well, the, the naked body is not evil um, when it's done in a lusty position. Yes, it is. Absolutely it is. And you get into that type of a thing, what you're doing is actually you're sterilizing yourself. Instead of being a normal man with normal urges, you know, sneaking around. And every single porn head, they all, you know, you walk in on them and, oh, what are you doing? Oh, oh, you know, and I've seen these guys too, you know, I've known so many young men. I can tell right away, just like that, that you're looking at pornography. Oh, you know, uh, yeah, there's this website and it's called uh, Only or something like this or Only Fans or whatever. Don't go there, brother. You know, I, I mean, I've, I've looked into it just because of research purposes. <laughs> And, um, you know, I don't, I don't recommend you go to it, you know, but, um, you know, I've, it's not that I'm looking at it or anything. I mean, I, I might've been there maybe once or twice in the past, but, but, you know, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. A lot of you guys out there, young guys, you're messing with pornography. I know you are. I used to. Got victory over it and you better get victory over it because it'll mess you up. And you think, oh, well, I'll just look at that till God gives me a wife. God's not going to give you a wife. Satan might, but God won't give you a wife as long as you're a pervert. Well, I'll just, I'll look at the artificial stuff because that way it's not really a real woman. It'll mess you up so bad. You'll look at some woman and you'll think, well, you know, that part of her body's not the right proportion because it's not like AI generated whore over here. And I don't like the way her legs are shaped and I don't weigh that. Mm -hmm. defiles your mind if you're a young man out there you better stay away from pornography and you better realize you are designed by God to be fruitful and multiply that means when you can get a job start getting money to support a family okay that's your responsibility go out there work hard I did I was working when I was 14 years old Okay, at a job. Before I could even drive, my parents had to take me to my job and drop me off and things through the summer when I wasn't in, in school. Yeah, I worked for many years. In high school, there were a, lot, were a lot of times I'd work after school was done, go to my job. So um, I worked for a long time. So don't say, well, well, brother, you were at home for a while and, and you know you struggled with things. That, um, first of all, I'm not the standard, but secondly. Uh, I did actually work for a long time. And I did do the right things for a very long time. 1 Corinthians chapter 7. 1 Corinthians chapter 7. The standard for marriage here. Um, <clears throat> now concerning the things whereof ye wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Say, well, see there, see, I can not touch a woman. It's just artificial intelligence. Uh, no. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife and let every woman have her own husband. If you have a, a issue, um, you know, verse 9 of the same chapter, I'll just read that quick. But if they cannot contain, let them marry, for it is better to marry than to burn. Um, 
if you stay single, that means you're not looking at any kind of the opposite sex for any reason. You don't say, I don't need, have any need in that area. Okay, that's fine. That's one thing. But if you're looking at porn as a single guy or a single woman, you're in sin. We so I have some lust issues and things. Then you have to get married, according to the scriptures. So uh, I just, like I said, not, I don't really need a big detailed study on this issue because it's just so obviously wicked, um, this whole artificial intelligence porn thing. But I just find it kind of ironic that all these filthy, you know, whores that are selling their bodies, all of a sudden they're going to now be out of work <laughs> because computers are going to come out and, and uh, I mean, it's the lost world, this genocide movement, you know, I believe the Lord's going to put an end to it soon uh, as far as the perverts and whatever else, however he'll decide to do that. But the lost world is just going to go absolutely bonkers on this whole thing. And you're going to have women in movies and women in, you know, whatever else that are just, Oh, so wonderful. And these, these youths will just be, oh, I lust after so-and-so, and she's my favorite, and oh, you know. And they'll just look at each other and go, I'm not even interested. You don't look anything like her. You know, the only way I might be interested in you is if you go and you put on an artificial or a suit or something, VR suit and VR goggles or whatever, and then we can meet in the virtual space and, and we can touch each other or something and feel it virtually through electronic impulses. Uh, okay, and how are you having children? Well, we can have an artificial intelligence baby through the metaverse or something. You, get a, you have to get away from that stuff. I mean, again, if you understand the real agenda here, it's about genocide. It's about killing off a lot of people. Uh, the, what Satan's servants, their great desire is to increase the death rate and decrease the birth rate. If there's too many people, they can't control the people. And they don't like families with lots of children. They want sterilized people. <sighs> so, um, I don't know what more to say, but uh, you're, you're going to see, I will pretty much promise you, you'll see some quote-unquote Christians coming out and trying to justify artificial intelligence pornography. So I just thought I'd get this out there before they do. So that is going to be it. Thank you for watching. Stay away from this world right here.